So Flutter has announced its update to 2.0, where there are tons of new features that you can play around with, such as creating apps for Microsoft Surface devices, monetizing your Flutter apps with Google Mobile Ads SDK, and the stable support for all of the known platforms, such as iOS, Android, Web, Desktop. However, amongst these updates, I believe that there are three disruptive Flutter 2.0 updates. So they are Ubuntu support for Flutter, Toyota infotainment in Flutter, and static meta programming. So let's get started with the first one. Ubuntu support for Flutter, and Ubuntu is one of the most popular Linux distro or distribution. Think of Linux as the Android OS and Ubuntu as, you know, the Samsung OS. And the company behind Ubuntu is Canonical or Canonical. And Canonical have announced that Flutter is the default choice for future Ubuntu apps. So this gives an impression that the people in Canonical trust Flutter. They even have a job posting on finding a Flutter developer for their Ubuntu desktop. So what does this mean for other frameworks creating apps in Ubuntu? Well, they will probably try it out and see what it's all about. And if they like it, which I hope they would, then the future of Ubuntu apps will be built in Flutter, which therefore also increase the job landscape for Flutter developers, whether for a full-time position or a freelance work. Wait, aren't there tons of Linux distros out there? And Ubuntu is just one of it? That doesn't really make a difference, right? Well, the people at Canonical have this thing called the Snapcraft. Think of it as an app store for Linux distribution or Linux distros. So therefore, building a Snap, which is another name for a Linux application in canonical terms, will be available for millions of users of Ubuntu and the other 41 Linux distros. Therefore, if you're building a new desktop product that is developer-centric, then having Flutter as your tech stack makes sense. Also, due to this support, Canonical also created their own theme using the material design specification, which is pretty cool. So the second one is the Toyota infotainment in Flutter. So Toyota has been the top two car brands according to the market share that they have, around 10%. And Daniel Hall, chief engineer of Toyota, is partnering with Flutter to build their infotainment system with Flutter for their vehicles. So you might be thinking, what's an infotainment then? Infotainment is the touchscreen dashboard that you look at when you want to change the music or looking for directions when you're driving. So drivers out there, when was the last time you had a good experience with a good infotainment? I might assume never. So, and the thing is, even though the infotainment is usually an overlooked features for affordable cars, because I'm not rich, Tesla infotainment, which is one of the best in my opinion, is going to be available to its going to be affordable car series and Toyota wants to have some piece of that infotainment pie and this marks a large or I would say disruptive departure in approach from how an in-vehicle software has been developed over the years. So this is possible due to Flutter's embedded API, which is able to meet the needs of Toyota in-vehicle system. This is my future prediction. If the Toyota new infotainment built in Flutter is responsive, has good design, and works really well and fast, this will actually influence the decision-making for future infotainment across the car industry. And this will actually greatly increase the opportunity to work in a car company as a Flutter developer. However, it will take a few years for this possibility to play out. And lastly, the third one is static meta programming. There is a lot of definitions of meta programming. However, there is a popular meta programming feature that a lot of developers are looking forward to, which is data classes. So in essence, meta programming in this context is using code to create more code. So like code generation packages, such as your JSON serializer, built value and more. So if there was a generated code without using packages, that actually can reduce writing a lot of boilerplate code, reduce time in running code generation during your development, and also it reduced a lot of files to repository due to 
you guessed it, code generation. However, why am I swinging? <laughs> However, Bob Nystrom, software engineer in Dart language, pointed out that methodology change faster than programming languages. So we might end up with date weight programming language features. So essentially redundant features that we might not use. How is then meta programming disruptive? And I would say it's the same phenomenon as how Apple is still relevant, even though it's lacking in innovating new game changing products. How they do this is that they invested in making things run faster. This is why they changed their chip architecture, which makes software run very, very fast. Trust me, I'm an M1 user and it's amazing. And just how M1 made Apple relevant, I believe Meta programming will make Flutter relevant in the future. In summary, the adoption of Flutter as the new tech stack for Ubuntu and Toyota would send a signal to companies in the Linux and car infotainment space that Flutter is a viable option. However, Time will tell if it's true. So this is just my thoughts on the new Flutter update. So I felt that the new Flutter update was kind of expected and really not mind blowing. I believe that the Flutter expected trajectory is to have big companies to adopt Flutter as a tool to solve business problems, which I guess Flutter is maturing, which is also a less fun part of any technological adoption life cycle. So there's not a lot of hype, I would say. So which is a good thing that means more companies will use Flutter and more jobs and opportunities will be made for Flutter developers such as me and you guys. So that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below and comment down which is your favorite update to this Flutter 2.0. Stay safe and all the best. Bye bye.